Hey, fishy people. Um, I kind of have a dilemma. Uh, this is the 20 long I have, and I just wanted to put it to use. So I was temporarily using it as, using it as a holding tank for plants that I was going to put into my 75 gallon grow out tank. And I had a bunch of plants, I put them in here, I kind of actually randomly put them in here, but I like how I randomly put them in here. And, um, had a worm infestation, so I put a bunch of guppies in here to get rid of that. A customer brought me a pair of, um, tiger endlers also, or cobra endlers, I forget. Um, they had babies. I have a random African sick bed in here, not sure how we came in here. Um, not sure how he got into the tank, but I, I assume I netted him when I was netting some guppies. Those were some African cichlids I, I saved from work. And, uh, didn't really have a tank to put them in, because I don't have an African cichlid tank, so they're just in fresh water. But, there's one of those guys in here. Um, but my dilemma is, I originally was planning on turning this tank into a shrimp tank, I think. And now that I have these guppies in here, I'm kind of liking them, you know, guppies are fun. And I'm kind of actually liking how I put the plants out, you know. So, should I keep this as a grow out tank? Should I keep it as it is? Should I not keep it as a grow out tank but rescape it? Um, shrimp? Guppies? Small cichlids? Uh, in the shop we just got a bunch of golden dwarf cichlids. We've got some blue acaras, which I've been I've been loving. You know, I've been dying to to get my hands on. Um, also have some really fancy killifish. Uh, a lot of epistogrammas in the shop right now, so I could do you know borellies, uh, cockatoides, golden cockatoides. Um, agazis. Uh, you know, these are just ideas to do with this 20 long, and I, I'd love you guys' feedback. Uh, that's why I'm making this video. I would love you guys' feedback. You know, what do you think I should do with this tank? What would you do with it if you were me? Here's my little African cichlid. Um, you know, probably shouldn't be in this tank. It definitely shouldn't be in this tank, but, uh, he seems to be kicking it. You know, I'm gonna have to pull him out soon because he's gonna be eating these little the little baby uh, endlers, but yeah, um, let me know. I want feedback. I would love you guys' feedback on what I should do with the 20 gallon tank. Uh, while I'm at it, uh, my last video was about CO2. I cleaned this up, and you can see the interior. This is how it works. It actually. Uh, how does it work? It shoots it down the center. Bubbles are going up and down and up and down and up and down. Um, at some point, it can manage through the bottom, and then it enters this ladder and goes up the ladder, and then gets dispersed out the top, I guess. I don't know. All I know is that CO2 is going in, and uh, no bubbles are coming out, which means I'm getting a whole bunch of diffusion, and I can crank this up a whole bunch, and... I still get a whole bunch of diffusion. So it's really, really efficient. And here's, I put a small pump on it. This is more what it should have on it. You know, not crazy, crazy, super obtrusive. Here's the tank. But still ugly, in my opinion. Um, you know, for a grow out tank, it's, this works great. But, uh, yep, there it is. And another quick point. Uh, one sec. Um, here's the 75 gallon. Uh, here's where it's at. It's all the plants are looking awesome. Uh, they all look like they love this light. Um, I added some dwarf pennywort. Uh, things are really looking like they're taking off. I'm seeing new growth everywhere. Here on the Bacopa, um, the Mirio is going like crazy. This uh, baby tears, which didn't look great, is is starting to look better. Got some giant hair grass also. But the point I was trying to make is. The, the really nice thing about this do-it-yourself CO2 thing is 
it's awesome for do-it-yourself CO2. Like if you're brewing yeast, it doesn't take any pressure to have the CO2 come into this bottle. So you don't need any pressure. It's super efficient and you can store the CO2. You know, if I have everything turned off, technically speaking, I'd have to turn off this valve here also, but I could have it brewing, brewing all night long and the CO2 is not going into the tank, it's just going into this bottle. And the, if the pump's off, it's not getting diffused. So I could be collecting that CO2 all night long and I could turn this on in the day and it's gonna diffuse that CO2 that I collected all night long into my tank. Um, you know, aside from just doing that, which I guess is maybe cockamamie in, in many people's minds, uh, it's just super efficient. And uh, personally, what I've been doing is I have I have this valve right here, and this is not an efficient way to split CO2, especially between different diffuser types, this one and this one. Um, I can fill that bottle in the morning with a bunch of CO2, and like I said, because it doesn't diffuse super crazy efficiently, or super crazy fast, uh, I can put enough in there that it'll run for like five hours without diffusing all the CO2. And then at the same time, I can have this one going over here. Uh, most people would never do that, but you could, what I'm trying to say is, you could fill this bottle in advance. You don't have to have a constant supply of CO2. You just need someone there to, at the beginning, and it's gonna keep going throughout the day until it depletes itself. That'll take a while. Um, but yeah, uh, give, me, give me your guys' input on what I should do with that 20 gallon tank. Uh, I'm planning on putting a whole bunch of bush in those Playco babies in this tank once it's properly cycled and everything. Um, if you have any other ideas of what, like, animals I could put in here, it's still going to be a grow out tank, but, you know, I, I could put fish in here. Um, let me know. Love you guys' input. Uh, hope your tank's doing well. Okay, might have said bye, but, uh, I lied, because, while I was talking about Bushnose Playco babies, look, there they are. That's them in the tube. They're wiggling around. I've got a whole bunch. Um, I'm loving it. I like babies. I like baby everythings. Yep, see all those little things in there? Bushy no playco babies. And that's the daddy guarding them like crazy. He won't let anyone near that tube. Not even me. Um, have a good night, guys.